not seen Yabes play in so, so, so long. I this don't know whether that's just I've met of touch or like, I don't know, but. I feel like every time I, I talk to someone who's traveled out into the uh, the Scandinavian lands, they have, they've hung out with Yabes or Yavsa. I love Yabes. Yeah. He's a good egg. He's a good dude. And he's been playing forever. Right? Like, I mean, I always associate with like like the left in like yeah. bro squad. The un the entourage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought like, did you ever listen to the yard? I have listened to the yard. Not every yard, but yeah. some of them. Well there's so many. There, there's a lot. And I, I'm not a big podcaster type. Oh yeah, no. Like, I don't really do a lot of podcasts. There's a story of Aiden, um, like, I think, picking up a 35-year-old woman in Sweden as, like, Yaves and Leffen watch it happen. Oh, okay. And it's it's kind of fun because it's like, you know, you keep up with everybody, but also... One of my favorite Aiden stories is, um, <laughs> so he came to Ireland, was, yeah, it was Ireland for a schism, I think it was. Was it a schism? Am I losing my mind? We ba basically, we were all out there in Europe, and uh, he wasn't allowed into the club because he had uh, these jogger bottoms on. <laughs> and he, he, like, said something about how expensive they were. He was like, these are more expensive <laughs> than, like, that's, everything else that people are wearing. That's so not funny. the point. You gotta look. <laughs> it was so funny. So, yeah, he got denied, and we had to go somewhere else. Bless him. I feel like that's the Dark Gen X move, to just have, like, some $4,000 Minions gear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you're not allowed in the club with them. I feel like Justin gets in the club. I feel like, was Aiden drunk at the time? <laughs> oh, actually, it, yeah. actually, maybe it, was, it, was, it, it wasn't a schism, it was an air, I think, actually. It was air, yeah. yeah. Did air cap? Oh, there, was some, there was some European tournament that I was looking at, and it just immediately capped. Oh, air capped. and FET, for sure. Air like, and FET just capped so fast. Well, not the FET just gone, because it was like 3,000 people, which Jeez. is a lot of people. So that one didn't, but... Yeah, no, air usually capped. Yabs is a scary... Yabs is... Yabs? Yabs? I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> I have never met them. Yabs. Eighth seed in the pool is scary, right? Because that's a good player. Yeah, I'm so right. It feels wait, eighth seed in the pool? Yeah, it's eighth that's, seed. That sounds very under. I know, right? but it's also like you but don't know. Not active, I guess. Yeah, like Yangling is a four seed, and Yangling just beat Shunsuke. Oh, okay. Like Damn. yesterday, and Iron. Yeah, I, it's got to be an activity because again, I haven't seen Yabes play right. in a long, long time. But eight, eight seed might be a little under. But like, in some senses, you just sometimes don't lose. Yeah. You don't lose ball. Yeah, I'm like, I think this is the eight versus the nine with Himbo Boss Champ. Himbo Boss Champ. Oh, that's the Himbo Boss that Champ. Username. Yeah, I I looked at it and my brain couldn't really parse himbo, it for a while. Himbo Bo Dollar Dollar Champ. Bo Dollar Dollar. Himbo Bo. Himbo Bo. Money Money Champ. <laughs> money. <laughs> yeah, this is this is eight nine. The winner. This is gonna play Gatsu. Oh, I want to see that. That's Come wild. on, I want to see Yabe's Gatsu. That's gonna be that's gonna be something. But yeah, so I mean, you know, a lot of Falcons, a lot of Marts in this pool actually. This Ugh, is the ideal pool. This is the NMW pool. Uh huh. You also have Kandayo, who won one of the Philly Arcadians. Okay. Former San Diego, in like a lot of different matchups. Life, who is a good Marth from okay. SoCal. Oh, Fek Fek's in this pool. And then too. this is Fek Fek. Fek Fek NMW are in this pool. So yeah. it's. Kind yeah, this is a cool guy. Absolute banger. If Fek Fek loses early, might have to play Ace at some point to make it out. Not the, not the European yeah, team the, kill. Yeah, the team kill is coming out. Well, there is France Sweden. It's not, it's not right. really like a massive I mean, brotherhood, but yeah. It's a fair point. I hear someone just screaming in the background. I got to find out facts about Himbo Boss Champ. So there's definitely... Himbo Bo Money Champ. Himbo Bo Money. I, I do wish that... I think the only downside with commentary is I wish that you could speak to some of the players like there and then. You're like, hey, yeah, tell me your story, things. bro. But yeah, before they actually like go on to their game, just so, be like, how you feel about the match? You know? It's an Oklahoma Falcon. Okay. Um, some some things on the uh, the description on <laughs> his start GG is uh, with big swag pilled energy. I believe it. Yeah. His pronouns are he himbo. I you know what? Yeah. I love it. I respect that. A lot of lot of chaos really going on here. And he's a Falcon player, so it all kind of speaks for itself. Falcons being himbos, I think, is that tracks perfectly for me. Every every Falcon I've ever met is a himbo. Falcon if you is, really think about it. Falcon is either himbo coded or like Ganon player coded. Or Stoner. Or so yeah, huge weed smoker Falcon. Yeah. It's probably fifty percent of the matches I've played in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Especially in SoCal. Yeah, mine is stoners or himbos are like some marriage of the two. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I we had himbo chic, like stud muffin was stud very, muffin. very ripped. Oh, okay. Very powerful Sheik. Most, like, Falcon energy Sheik player of all time. I, I had that feeling about um, uh, the, one of the Jays, the, the, the buff J, the J Sheiks. Oh, J-Sex? Or J-Flex? J-Flex. Yeah. yeah, I, I forget it's Flex I now. Like, you're literally a Falcon. Why are you... <laughs> Flex does. Why are you not playing Falcon? Flex has some quiet Falcon energy, for sure. Yeah. 
We got even. We got a close match here. Yeah, this is. Oh, oh he's stretching his hands yes. to mid-match. I love that. Okay. We love the health. We like to see that happen. Oh, big combo. Just pressuring. This is my huge. That's, that hurts me as a moth. This is my favorite be... <laughs> matchup ever. I actually love this matchup. Yeah. Moth Falcon is my favorite. Um, on, I'm a moth player as well. But nothing annoys me more than this matchup because Falcon, like, as a moth, you're just like, this won't kill, but this will damage, damage, damage. Will I kill you? Maybe. And then Falcon can just, like, me. <laughs> Himbo got Dead, like. solid combo, good pressure, and then that knee, and then it was just over. It's the knee that hurt my feelings. Do you have a tough time watching Slime Blur? No. Yeah, that was just good times. <laughs> that, was just, that was just vibes, immaculate vibes the whole time. That was probably my favorite set of the year. I enjoyed it. I had money on Blur. I, Fake money that I didn't actually spend. I, I think that was Blur. probably the smart bet. Well, yeah, because like, yeah. Slime hadn't, hadn't beaten him before, right? Right, and then like, Anthony improved quite a bit and like played himself he back trained. in the shape. He, he trained like a, like a monster. But yeah, Falcon Marth is probably one of the, the funnest matchups in the game. But It's so good. I mean, that happens. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> you do, you do get that do here. I can't do it, but I love it. <laughs> right, it doesn't seem to be working for me. Yeah. But I've seen what God's done for other people. That's, do you know what? That exact quote is how I feel about Zane playing sometimes. I'm like, if <laughs> yeah. I do that, like what exactly what you're doing, I will die for it. But nobody comes near you because you're good. I think the wildest. And they just let you get away with stuff. It's true. I hate top players. I Yes. <laughs> yes. I, do you know what? I sound really banned top players. You get it. Why do they keep? You just get it. Why do they keep getting away with everything? Just they, get, they get better seating. <laughs> yeah. It's just ridiculous <laughs> at this point. Zane gets away with so much that I would never get away with in uh, round one pools. And, and then Zane will just tell you no one will believe you. And then that's how it is. You ask him for tips, he's like, I don't know, bro. Yeah, just, I, don't know, I just said to do it. I don't know. Work on the little cancels. I hate Zane. Mango claiming that he doesn't know what jump squad is. I saw that. Do you know what? I actually watched that Spacey Jam today, and I was like, uh, I, I understand that it's like intuitive knowledge. I think he but knows. But I also don't understand no i, I, I think, think he's he knows i think he just doesn't want to look like a nerd i think that's <sighs> that what it is such a commit to the bit though for him to be like i don't want to be seen as a nerd even though i'm one of the best players in the world of niche video game i oh, don't know yeah. that's like a big commit to not <laughs> come out as a nerd <laughs> the secret is bro is clearly a nerd oh monster tipper again and almost again. this could be kill though I will say that is actually the perfect edge guarding. I'll never forget, I did a stream once and uh, Coach Bobby came into my stream when I was against the Falcon and he was like, why are you trying to edge guard like that? Just stand on the edge and forward smash and it changed my life. It's You powerful. don't need anything else ever. Just forward smash, unless they're low. You got Run a, off fair. A giant hammer, why Why do anything? Oh, big miss. Oh, I miss on that up tilt as well. Yeah. Oh, we got this one though. Okay, we got a tech chase. That oh, was the most Chelly double up tilt I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I would also try and hit that twice if it hit the first time. <laughs> It's important to have that energy with Marth. Okay, goes Sometimes for the poke. Sometimes you just have to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. This is a go for it matchup. Uh, and to follow up the good advice that I had from Coach Bobby, the worst advice I've ever had <laughs> was from Dunk. Oh, and Dunk no. was like, Dunk was like, you're just. You, when you're comboing, you keep trying to like, you. sometimes you gotta let it go because you'll never get it. And I'm like, no, I'd rather just up air randomly in the air and then get punished for it, thank you. Well, that's the way to do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't wanna win this game. <laughs> Good match, the winner's gonna play Gatsu, which is crazy. I wanna see Yaves Gatsu, if possible. And they have to win that match to make it out. I mean, he's not he's probably well, gonna, yeah, be, he's gonna, probably be not gonna beat Gatsu, imagine. but. Imagine. Oh, What's up? Do you guys know how much uh, Yabasta deadlifts? I was saying that. How much is it? 575. It was 575, pounds. right? I, I saw 260 kilo, and I was, oh, yeah, 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 it was crazy. Which is ridiculous. Right. I only need to know one we thing. Has this. anyone seen a video of him doing it, Because if his form is off, I don't care. No, it's good. If he good. lifts it like, yeah. with his shoulders, was, I want to know. He was coaching. He's got a buddy who's like a proper like, oh, power really? lifter, and he was saying his form used to suck. And his powerlifter friend ripped it. He was like, dude, your form, like, your deadlift it's is God. terrible. Yeah. And then apparently, like, fixed it. So 